And let's say just fill around and I got it. avoid the snapping turtle. What? Oh, there we go. Hey, that's a straight side Coke. What's up guys and welcome back to Adventure Archaeology. If you're new here, my name is Brandon and today we've got an epic adventure planned for you guys. We're going to be heading out doing some mud larking in a local river for valuable historical treasures that were thrown away over a century ago. Primarily antique bottles. These antique bottles can be worth thousands of dollars and you never know what you're going to find. Before we jump in the water though, I've got to announce a t-shirt winner from a video that took place two weeks ago. Optimize Outdoors, you are the winner of the t-shirt. Please drop me an email at adventurearchaeology at gmail.com so I can get your address and get that sent right out to you. Without any further ado, let's jump in the water and go see what we can find. Before we get in the water, I wanted to show you all this right here. This is an original roadbed, and this isn't too far from where we park at. It runs right through these woods. Now, whether this was a logging trail or I, I don't know what it could have been used for. I'm assuming logging based upon the amount of pines in here. You can tell that it's still traveled by locals with four wheelers and stuff like that. But right to the side over here is what appears to be a natural spring. It looks like it's coming out of a stump hole to the side, but this is wet year round. Doesn't matter if it's in a drought in August, there's always water coming out of here, which is kind of neat. I don't know that I would drink it just because you can see the four-wheeler tracks in there, but it's kind of cool. If you look over here to the side, there's tons of green right now. That's because spring has finally sprung in Alabama, which means that we're having to be a little bit more careful about the vegetation. We're looking for poison ivy, poison oak, poison sumac. We're also looking for venomous snakes. So we got to keep an eye out for those guys because this is the time of year where they start to move abundantly. With that being said, hopefully my wife has her waders on now. I was killing some time. And we can go jump in the water and go see what we can find. I see a bottle right here that looks promising. I see the neck. Come on. Ah, it's whole. Oh, it's got a little bitty lip chip. That would have been a Birmingham Cherokee. You're probably wondering what these are, so am I. Let's find out together. There's a broken hobble skirt. That one's broken. And now we're clouded out. <laughs> so we have to wait and come back and pull the rest of these later. All right, here's a bottle right down here. Can't tell if it's gonna be whole yet. Oh, it's so long, it's new. Of course, the new one survived. <laughs> Go figure, right? I'm in the bushes, <laughs> literally. And I just saw this at the bottom. Sadly, it is a slick, it is a screw top. This is gonna be 1930s. And the water is just clouding up so fast today. We're having to move faster than I want to. My wife just snagged this Dadeville off of the bottom. It's got a couple of issues like that flake out right there and on the other side right there. However, we're still gonna turn this one into a whiskey glass just because of how rare it is. I'm super excited because that ice blue is gonna look great. I think I can tumble it and make these right here where they're not as jagged and it'll probably blend in. I'll just have to leave it in the tumbler for a little bit longer. So very cool, let's keep it going. I'm hoping that this sign has something on the other side. Let's find out. <laughs> nope, completely gone. It looks like it was the shape of a shell sign to me though. Dang, so close. All right, let's see what you got. It's all just clear and I knew it wasn't, uh, it's all dirt in there. It wasn't modern, does it say AB on the bottom? No. That is an old one though. Uh-huh. At first, I thought because neck band brand, I thought it was the newer one, but then I saw that clear off the bottom. Yeah, that's nice. At least a century old it means we're in the right area. Look at that clay in there. Yeah, it built up, didn't it? Mm -hmm. You can always tell what was buried, though. A lot of people always ask about that. How come some bottles come out clear? How, how come some of the bottles have moss on them? When they're buried, it doesn't allow for that moss to grow. So that hill and everything that you see right there was buried. The part that's brown is the part that was exposed. So when we find a really clean bottle, that means that it has washed from the bottom during an erosion from a storm or a flood. Yeah, we'll be able to take that and dip it into some muriatic acid and make it look brand new again. I think I got two bottles over here. One might be a stick, but I know where the bottle, I see the one on So one might be a stick, one, one might, might be. be a stick. Oh God, it's so cold. Oh, it's new where I can fill with the ridges on the bottom. Uh, it's a modern. Daggum it. It doesn't belong in here. Is the other one a stick or is it a bottle? I don't know. You saw it? No, I didn't see it. It was a stick. It was a stick. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Time to play our game. Can you spot the bottom? There's one right here. Oh, really? 
Oh, no, I'm just kidding. Oh, <laughs> she better get mad. <laughs> this thing got murky, hadn't it? I don't even see it. <laughs> the murkiness has got us all. Do you see it anymore? Okay, suspense is killing. Let's just grab it. No, I can't see it. You start? walked up and you messed it up. Okay, I'm just going to freeze my arm off. I was say just fill around and I got it. avoid the snapping turtle. What? Oh, there we go. Hey, that's a straight side Coke. This property. That is this awesome. This is property of Birmingham, Alabama, Coca-Cola. I've never seen one like that. I have. There's an aqua and I think there's a clear. It looks like this is going to be the aqua variant. It is from Birmingham. Yep. And these are actually pretty tough to find. Really? I, yeah. Yay. I don't know that I've found a complete one in many, many years. So that one's beautiful. It no is. heel chip or a lip chip. This bottle, property of Birmingham Coca-Cola bottle. Look at those beautiful three bubbles. And look at that. No lip chips. Mm -mm. No heel damage. At the bottom. It's got the maker's marks on it. And uh, that's a good one, babe. She's kicking my butt, guys. Always, I might have to always. kick it into high gear. And see if I can pull a hutch out here. I think that's going to be the only way I can get in front of her after this. No, that tombstone hutch is mine. <laughs> so she just found her soda right there. I got right here and I see a flask down there. Y'all may not be able to see it. I don't know. But it's right there. Be embossed. That's a big boy. But it's not embossed. But it is definitely time period. It's the double ring neck. And that's exactly what we're looking for. I would have loved for a town name to be be on it, but if nothing else, we know that we're on the right track. Where's the hutches at? We know they're here. I'm not sure that this video is gonna capture how tranquil this is right here, but it is absolutely gorgeous today. Uh, we're supposed to have a high of 78, and the water is awesome right now. We're about knee deep, and you can see the bottom without an issue, we walk this way coming in because the current's coming this way, and we know when we walk back, the sun will be overhead, and it always helps us to find more stuff on the way back. So if we found what we did on the way in, I'm pretty hopeful we're going to find even better stuff on the way back. All right, I saw something square, and I reached down to pick it up, and I thought it was a brick, so it's already set up, but it was right beneath that log. And check that out. Dr. J. Hostetter's Stomach Bitters. Right here in the creek. This one's a little bit different. You can see it's got the 18 fluid ounces on the back. Sadly, the top is sheared. But holy cow, it's not every day you find a bitters bottle. And it wasn't until a couple years ago till we actually found one on the channel. Uh, these are considered common. They're not the most rare bottle by any means, but they're older and extremely hard to find in the water. So I'll take that. It does have a little bit of a gash right there too. But we're gonna save it. We'll do something with it. Heck yeah, let's keep going. I just snagged another whiskey flask. Sadly, this one is unembossed as well. One of these guys one day is gonna have something awesome on it coming out of this creek. But today is not the day. All right, I see a bottle right there. I'll get y'all a little bit closer. I'll try to give y'all some shade where you can see what I'm looking at. Let's see, yeah, you can kinda see it. It's right there. Gonna reach down here and see if it's an old one. It feels good. Oh yeah. What do we got here? I think I got a property of the Birmingham Coca-Cola. There we go. Another block letter straight side. This is a different variant than the one that my wife found. So I'm very excited to have that. The embossing's a little bit weaker on mine, but you can see it says property of almost identical just the lettering is different hers is up towards the top mine does have a little bitty heel chip it looks like but the top's in good shape and we'll take it we're on the bottles today guys this is fun i thought this was just a piece of wood and then i picked it up and i believe it's a more modern uh figurine of types look at the bottom of it let's see i don't see nothing i don't either it's kind of neat though I, it almost looks like it go in an aquarium doesn't it it might be. Look, I think a little hobbit kid living there. Looks like a pumpkin to your left. Over there. Oh, yeah, those are little jack-o'-lanterns. <laughs> Probably a Halloween decoration that landed in here. Oh, yep, and that's a ghost. Oh, is it? Yep. Creepy. There we go. There's all kinds of stuff in here. All right, guys, we had a pretty good day. I have an announcement I'm going to make in just a second, but I wanted to show you all these bottles in a little bit of different light. This one right here, you can barely see it, but it says right there, this bottle property 
of the Birmingham Coca-Cola Bottling Company. There again, this one does have a heel chip, but this is a rare variant. This is not one you find very often. And if you look on the bottom right there, it says Root. Root was a terrible type of glass and usually it didn't survive. And that's what makes this bottle pretty rare to find, even in this condition with that heel chip. This will be tumbled. It will stay in my private collection because I do not have that variant. This one over here that my wife found is a pretty tough one to find too. It's been probably over a decade since I've found one. So I'm pretty excited that she got this. And she was very excited because she had never found a block letter variant before either. If I had to put a price tag on these just to give you all a bit of a background info on it i'd say that they're probably about 50 dollars bottles so not just super super expensive bottles but hey that's 100 bucks that we found in the creek right we did get these two whiskey flasks i'm going to dip them into muriotic acid and i'm going to clean off that creek grime that you see they'll look really good whenever they're done sadly that stomach bitters has seen better days but they're like i mentioned this is not something that we find all the time so i was excited to have it I think I've only ever found one other in the creek in the past. This is not the Daveville that my wife found and the Cherokee because that was filmed on a separate day. But I wanted to show you all that this is what we're going to do that day. But we're going to turn it into a double shot whiskey glass like this Wyzola bottle. A lot of people always ask, where can I find these whiskey glasses that you make? Do you sell them? The answer is yes, we do sell them. I do keep some of the ones like this one right here is in my private collection. Uh, but the vast majority of them go back into the channel. So when they're sold on our eBay store, we put them back into the channel buying camera gear, uh, gas money, all that kind of stuff to be able to get to the locations and find stuff to make the videos. So it's always hard for people to find the eBay store for some reason. So we've decided to build a website and that's the announcement that I was wanting to make. We are making an adventurearchaeology.com website. So on this adventurearchaeology.com website, it is a work in progress. If you go there right now, it's just a landing page that's gonna direct you right back to our social media pages. However, in a few months, that's all gonna change. What will be on there, you may ask? Well, right out of the gate, at the top of the page is gonna be our most recently listed YouTube videos. Beneath that will be our most recent eBay listings, which is where our whiskey glasses, uh, duplicate bottles, stuff like that that we find that we sell will all be listed there as well. Eventually there will be t-shirts, Excalibur shovels, as well as all of our bottle tumbling components, as well as the machines. So this thing is going to be ever evolving. There will be a blog area as well to announce upcoming, upcoming metal detecting events, as well as bottle shows. So there should be a lot of useful information on there for folks. We're very excited to get it up and going. And as soon as it is completely ready, I'll make another announcement in the video. Regardless, I hope that y'all enjoyed the adventure today. If you did, be sure that you're subscribed and we'll catch you guys in the next episode.